Hey guys, welcome to easyliving.com. I'm here at Pets Plus on Shakeside Road in Dubai. Now I have a little bit of a problem. I've got this adorable little puppy at home, but I'm getting a lot of advice from friends on what to feed it. Some people are saying get generic food from the supermarket. Other friends are saying, you know, go for the specialist stuff that you get at pet stores. So I need this question answered, so I'm gonna go do that. Hey guys, I found the right person, uh, Nicola, she's going to answer my question. Nicola, I've got this little puppy at home, uh, cute little thing, so fluffy, I love it to death, <laughs> but I have no idea what to feed it. Lots of guys are telling me, you know, go to the supermarket and just get generic stuff. Other guys are, you know, saying get specialized food. It's very confusing. What is the difference? Well, uh, my belief is the dog is so individual. Obviously, we're looking at the dog's genes and the totally different breeds of the dogs, their environment and the age. And that's the things we have to look at with all the foods we sell. Uh, Pets Plus doesn't sell any food that is in a supermarket for that reason. Okay, we so... We don't believe in this one set dog food for all of them. Okay. Uh, what type of dog have you got? I've got a little Jack Russell. And how old is he? Uh, he's about... I'd say about seven months now, about six, seven, seven months. months. So he's yeah. still, still puppy. Yeah. And do you think he does lots of lots Oh, he's got so much energy. So, so yeah. Energy. Jack Russell's have Keeps lots me of up at night. Yeah. Energy. So the idea is you want to pick a food which obviously specializes for puppy food, okay. um, either for a small breed or for a Jack Russell, and something that you will help him with all the energy he's got to get out, to see his environment outside. Okay, so you need to take into consideration your pet's breed, yes. its age, its environment as well. Yeah. Is there any examples of foods you can give me? Well, the, we have quite quite a lot of examples of food. We, were, we stock Royal Canine, Science Plan, CUEP, Campro Plan, quite a lot of different foods. They've all got different different great qualities about them, but if we just look at Science Plan, which is on the shelf, okay. we've got something specialised for puppy food, which is up to one year. All right, and there we go. And that's specified for a, a mini breed or a small breed. Uh, for another example, is we've got another one for a large breed. And then we've got things like Advanced Fitness for adults, which are like, who have got a dog of high energy. And then we've got other food which are for mature, mature dogs. Which is I think that's over there. Over here. Long joke for me. So we've all got we've got different specialised. Whenever you're buying a dog food, look on the pack. Obviously you want to look at the age of the dog and you want to see what size the dog is. So we're looking at either mini or large breeds or we've got medium breeds. And also we've got other specialised food for advanced fitness, oh it's a light breed. Things like that. So we all have to take this in consideration because not every single dog is exactly the same. We've got small dogs, large dogs, massive dogs, and all the food is tailored for them. So guys, get yourselves down to Pets Plus. You'll be able to get the macaw in the background, play with him. <laughs> Ask for Nicola, she knows everything. She'll be able to answer your questions. Remember, if it's not easy, it's not easy living. As soon as he's got some food in his mouth, he shuts up. <laughs> so, stay tuned, because the next video, we're gonna give you guys some information on these awesome creatures, birds and parrots.